So I go into Staples tonight, right? I wanted to return the uh, Chromecast or maybe get a rebate on it because the package was incomplete. This is pretty awesome because it was missing the AC charger. That's, uh, you know, one of those USB to, not a big deal. I got like 70 hundred of them upstairs. 70 hundred, that's 7,000. Uh, I got a bunch of them upstairs, right? So I figured, uh, let's go back and see what kind of nonsense we can, we can cause with this. Oh, look, more mix. Guess who bought rum today? Oh, this guy. That was the original plan, was going to pick up rum. Go to Staples and I'm like, I got the Chromecast with me and I show them, I'm like, lesson. It's missing the AC adapter and it's missing the USB cable. I'm like, can you guys give me a USB cable? Like, I know you sell them, and they do. They sell them for cheap. They're, well, not really. They're 15 bucks a piece for a micro USB cable. $15? You can get them off cables, one, or, uh, one, two, three ink cartridges for $1.87 a pop. Probably the same damn product, too. It's just, you know, they like to gouge. I tell them that, and they're like, well, we can't give you one off the cupboard, but what we can do is because it was $15 for the cable, they gave me 20 bucks back. So I only originally paid. It was $39 for the device. They gave me 20 bucks back because because it was missing a bunch of parts. And they asked me, well, what, how'd you get it running? And I said, well, I'm using the cable for my phone, but it sucks that when I'm charging my phone, I can't watch Chromecast. Freaking lie, by the way. I got like, like I said, 70 hundred cables like that upstairs and 70 hundred friggin' AC adapters upstairs. So they gave me 20 bucks back. I might bring it back and get rid of it because this thing here was the same freaking price. And this is pretty much what I wanted. This has a remote control. You don't need any other device to control it. You can control it with another device, but it's literally Literally a Roku stick. It's the same thing as a Chromecast, except for it's got apps like Netflix, YouTube, and all that other junk and stuff. Plex, Plex Media. So now I don't need to use my computer with Plex, bring a video up in Chrome, and then stream Chrome browser. Now, a lot of you are saying, well, what's the difference between the Chromecast versus the, the Roku? Well, so far the only differences I can think of is apparently you can stream Chrome, anything in a Chrome tab, to the Google Chrome. You can stream that all day long. I don't know if you can do that with the Roku, but we're gonna find out because I'm gonna bring it upstairs and hook it up and test it out. But like I said, I bought some mix, I bought some rum, and today was a shitty day at work, so guess who wants to have a mixed rum and coke? <laughs> this guy. Alrighty, we got ourselves a liquor drink, we got ourselves the Roku, let's give her. Probably should have done an unboxing video for this for the tech channel, but meh, there's not much in it. You open it up, there's the Roku. When you extract the Roku, there's the remote, which is double the size of the Roku, and Yes, it comes with batteries. Nice. And when you lift this tab up, there's the power supply that it should have came with and it had a set it up thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this thing in and we'll give her. I absolutely love the fact this comes with a nice remote over the Google Chromecast, which didn't come with shit because uh, now you can like totally control it, eh? That is nice. Connect to your network, get latest software updates, activate your Roku. Let's do this. I got her up and running and this is pretty much what I wanted from the Chromecast. This thing's loaded with things and you can, some are free, some you gotta buy. But so far I've been coming across nothing but free channels. Only one that I had to buy was some uh, Teletoon thing, which was like non-stop television cartoons, right? But uh, I'm just going through and seeing what they got here. I've installed a bunch of shit so far. I really want to know how the hell YouTube's gonna work on this. Some people said it's friggin' slow. It says, bringing all your media together in one place has never been easier. Media browser unites your movies. Cool. I don't need that though. I got Plex installed. If we go back here, you got all these different genres over here, right? So you got like music, freaking news and weather and sports and food and internet TV. What the hell's internet TV? Oh, like YouTube and shit. Okay, okay. Then you got like photos and videos and special interests. So like a hobby channel? Uh, maybe. And screensavers and apps, so you can like install Firefox. That's hilarious. Oh, videos pushed from Firefox for your Android. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So they got all these different things on here, like Calendar Stream, and you know that's that's pretty awesome. There's a lot of cool shit on here. And like, I got a bunch of Cineplex store. What's going on here? Rent, buy, and watch movies in stunning HD. Choose from an evolving library of new releases. Ooh, I think I installed this one too. Nope, uh, I don't think I did. Anyway, this is what I got installed on here. Uh, once it gets me back over to the main menu. What are you guys doing? You guys fighting again? Take it outside. Jesus. Anyway, here's what I got installed on here. I got uh, Netflix, uh, Hockey, uh, Sky News, YouTube, Crackle, Slacker, Plex, Popcorn Flicks, Tubit, and V. Free movies, no subscriptions. Love that kind. Well, let's go over to YouTube, because that's what I really want to check out. And it's probably going to get me to sign in, maybe. I don't know. Probably won't be able to comment from here. But, um, yeah. This takes a while to load. 
Okay, so I'm going to try and figure this out and I'll come back to you guys. Alrighty, so basically what's going on is um, I'm not logged in right. Why is it only showing me Pete Pizzardo? Is it still downloading my prescription? I'm not even subbed to Pete Pizzardo on this account. What in the f*** is really going on? Okay, I gotta find out what's going on. This is dicked. And just as I'm trying to set up the Roku and get YouTube working, my internet dies. Yeah, my internet died. I currently have no internet. This is freaking awesome! I also think my dog's dying behind me. You're not dying, right? Just barfing? Is that all you're doing? Just barfing? You just barfing? See what I gotta put up with? <laughs> what? Really? You know what I'm saying? Look at him. He's, he's, he's so crazy. He's like, I wanna lick your face. I wanna lick your face. Can't get close enough to my face. Hey, booby. Try. Come on. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the things you do when your internet's out. Son of a bitch. So when your internet is dicked and you need to set up your Plex TV to your Roku because you can't do anything here because this is just not going to surf, all you do is grab your cell phone with its reliable LTE connection and do it from here. So I'm going to get this done. This is not easy without internet. <laughs> I kind of sort of need the internet right now to really get this done. Like LTE is fine, but the Plex or the uh, Roku is not streaming through LTE. Apparently this broker is trying. It's looking for and it found. It found my Plex Media server. I didn't have to do any pairing. Well this is awesome! See what I mean? This is awesome! Look, you can look around at all the stuff. You can look around and see what's in. Nicholas Cage is left behind. Let's be cops. All the movies on my computer. But um okay, so we can go into here probably. Yeah, that's all the movies. Oh, it even shows you ones you didn't watch. Oh, nice. Scores. Oh, that is sick as tits. I love this layout. Okay, so if we go... Oh, what happened? what I do? Oh, shit. Okay, what's this? Music? And this should be TV shows. Yes. So if I go into here and let it Sony for a bit. There we go. So I can... Oh, these are all the unwatched series, okay. Cool. That works out freaking awesome. So you can go, there should be an option for all movies. There it is, all shows. Oh, shit. If you press up too many times, it does stuff. So that's freaking cool. Plex works awesome. Just wish I could set up the YouTube. Well, this is obviously a big fucking outage happening at work right now with nobody there to support it. Gotta love that kind. But basically what's happening is, um, it's not just me. I just tried to remote into my laptop at work through my phone because uh, that Chrome desktop shares some shit like that. What is it? Uh, remote desktop Chrome or Chrome remote desktop. So I remoted into my laptop at work or tried to through the LTE and that failed. So then I tried to remote into one of the test machines, that failed, therefore the test machine's on a DSL connection. So it's not just cable, it's us. So tomorrow night's gonna suck. Tomorrow night at work, it's gonna blow. Whatever blew up, it's gonna blow. Oh, sakes, I want an internet. Well, looks like I'm on limited to local content because, uh, yup, shit's still there. I want to watch Supernatural from the other night, so I'm going to watch that now. And um, maybe the internet will come back soon because I kind of wanted to watch Pug's videos before going to bed. And I don't think I'm going to be able to. I need to find a new internet service provider other than the one I work for. Because uh, this is an outage on our end, there will be zero fucks given to fix it. Well, unlike Chromecast, this thing has adverts. And this is a three minute advert. Are you fucking serious? Jesus. Oh, freaking nice. Pug one. Pug one. Alright, guys, watched all my YouTubes and watched uh, a couple TV shows and things. It's pretty late in the day. But uh, tomorrow, before I go to work, I need to uh, go to the bank and uh, cash my check from the computer work I did on last vlogs. On the last vlog there. Gotta cash that. And then, uh, what the frig else? I gotta go to work tomorrow, and tomorrow is also Halloween. And uh, I gotta make sure tomorrow night I do not leave my outside light on. Because if I do, I'm gonna have kids banging on the door, and a dog, uh, a dog, a dog barking his frickin' face off while I'm not here to deal with it, so, yeah. Well, this is off. Where the hell's my dog? <laughs> I've been like, Oreo, come here, bud. Where the hell are you? Oreo? Bacon. <laughs> 
Where the hell is that coming from? It's like Marco Polo, right? Bacon! Hey, how did you get in there? Buddy? How did you get in there? Jesus. He was in the bedroom. He wasn't in the bedroom, he was downstairs. Keep going. <laughs> I used the old baconing technique, eh? Yeah. Always works. You always get him barking by saying bacon for some reason. See? It's happening now. So, I just wanted to find the dog so I could let him out. And that's all said and done. But what I want to talk about now is a Google, or a Google Chromecast versus the Roku Stick. Playing with the Roku Stick tonight, I really like the fact that it has an interface on it and you don't need a computer to cast to it. That's a pretty cool feature for someone who just, like, you know, like for my parents, Chromecast would be useless. They wouldn't use it like they use their G-Box, which is like, kind of like a Roku, sort of. For someone, like a good example, a good spot for Chromecast is if you're a professor or a teacher or an instructor and you have like slideshows on your laptop and the classroom you're teaching it in is not an orthodox classroom, it's rather unorthodox like this house. So you can't really set up a projector and a screen. So what do you do? Well, there's a, a TV. You know, you hook the Chromecast up to the TV and just cast the image right to it. You can cast your Chrome desktop. You can cast your desktop, like everything on it, to the TV. So basically, it's more like an accessory than it is a TV set-top box. Like it's more of a it's more of a video adapter, if anything. It's like converting your TV into a third monitor that can be used awesomely for some things, or you can just mirror your screen. Like if you have a laptop with a tiny screen, and then you come home and you're like, oh, I just want to get the video up on the big screen. Well, you use Chromecast to put it up on the big screen. Just echo it there, and boom, you're done. It's freaking awesome. So that's a good accessory for, for shit like that. But if you're looking for something to be like, to have a built-in Netflix channel, like on the Chrome, on the Chromecast, you have to go to Netflix.com, sign in on your computer or your tablet or whatever, find the movie, play the movie. When the movie's playing, you press the little cast button and boom, she farts off to your Chromecast and away you go. With the Roku, it has a built-in Netflix thing. So it signs in, you can watch something and away you go, which is pretty freaking cool. You don't need a computer or another device. This is something you can buy bring home, install, and go, and you don't need any extra junk, where with Chromecast, you need some sort of a device, keyboard, like a phone, tablet, or a computer, right? So the Roku is what I was looking for. I thought the Chromecast was gonna do it, but it doesn't, because you can only cast some things. And it's a pain in the arse to cast local media, such as MP4 files and, and, and stuff. One way they recommend you do it is you get Google Cast, uh, Google Cast, I believe it's called, for Chrome, it's an add-on, and then you drag and drop the MP4 right into Chrome, because uh, Chrome will play MP4s, no problem. You work it. Yeah, you work that blanket. You get it. Does that feel good? You like that kind? Yeah, you do. <laughs> Silly kitty. So yeah, as I was, as I was saying, and the way they say to do it is you drag it into Chrome, uh, your movie file, it's got to be an MP4 because Chrome will play them. Then you press play and then you cast that tab to the uh, Chromecast. And that's it. That's how they want you to do it. What I like is, and even with Plex, the only way to do it with Plex is you have to have a media server installed. Uh, all your media has to be on it. And then you got to find the movie you want to play and cast it once it's playing in Chrome. At which point you, can, you can't you can close Chrome, you can minimize it, but you always have to have that browser window open. And I don't know about you guys, but when I have multiple tabs going, and like I don't have many left, sometimes I just want to close Chrome, and then reopen it to refresh, like just, there's a lot of background shit that gets put into memory, eh? and it just consumes a lot, and there's no reason for it. So you close it, and you're like, oh no, I was casting with that tab, shit! Now you got a friggin' Go back, do everything all, it's just a pain in the arse. Like, so that's why the Roku for me is what I was looking for and the cast wasn't quite there. So I'm gonna bring the cast back tomorrow because I got a Roku, I don't need the cast. And uh, then I'll explain that they already gave me 20 bucks back and just give me the rest of the 20 bucks for it, or the $19 for it. And uh, we'll be golden, I won't even, I won't care. So, what the frig is that? Is that the battery cover? No, oh, this thing. Sorry, easily sidetracked. Apologize for that. 
But, uh, huh. See, so yeah, I'm gonna bring that back, and, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow. It's not really much to talk about, so, uh, maybe I won't vlog tomorrow, maybe I will. We'll see what we get into. But as for me right now, it's late, I'm going to freaking bed. So thanks for watching my video, guys. If you liked it, click the like button, that'd be freaking awesome. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.